of Mikai Sesukas, and of course, as always, I am your humble host, Nico House. Today, we have another Q Bounty question. If you would like to have a video about your question, all you have to do is go to Q Bounty, Q B O U N T I dot com, uh, and you can get a question for your super chat, quote unquote. So, this question was actually good especially given everything that we saw take place in Iowa. So, so somebody asked me, given what is taking place in Iowa, what should we be expecting in New Hampshire? Um, so let me just be clear and upfront from the get-go. The establishment does have more than one way to win an election. And of course, we should always, 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 always be hypervigilant. So let's just first take a step a look at the polls the polls have bernie pretty handedly in front there's one poll that has him at 27 percent. there's an emerson poll that has him at 31 percent uh another poll has him at 24 percent. another poll has him at 32 percent. so for tulsi and yang they both they're both hovering around four five or six percent depending on the poll now for them it's a little bit different because there's a four you know 4.5 4.7 margin of error for almost all of these polls which is ridiculous it's a ridiculous margin of error so if all goes well for bernie he will put a significant dent in the establishment's forehead by the end of new hampshire that's what it looks like if all goes well for Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang, they will accrue enough delegates to remain relevant going forward, uh, you know, step up their, their fundraising and just maintain forward trajectory. Uh, Buttigieg has to win first or second place for him to, to, to remain relevant. I don't know if he does it. I honestly don't know. Uh, Biden, I think he's done. I don't think there's anything he can do. Now, if Klobuchar can sneak in and beat Elizabeth Warren in New Hampshire, then she's in and it's a whole new ball game in that regard. So that's what it should look like. That's what it should look like. First, we're going to talk about the positives of New Hampshire's election systems uh, versus Iowa. So Iowa's is a caucus. Everybody goes up there and you tell everybody your business. Hey, this is who I'm voting for. Come vote for him too. You got to have like, there's three different sets of numbers reported. It's a headache, right? I was just a headache. New Hampshire's a little bit different though. New Hampshire's a little bit different because they have same day registration too, which is great. It is an open primary state, but the technical category would be semi-open primary because if you choose to <clears throat> if you choose to vote in the Republican primary, that's the only primary you can vote for. However, if you choose to vote in the Democratic primary, that's the only primary that you can vote for. Because of New Hampshire, New Hampshire has an uncanny ability to do things you don't really expect them to do. You can't really predict who's gonna vote in which primary, but you do know that they have the ability no matter what, to vote in either primary. They just have to pick one, okay? Um, and there's a lot of independence there too. Like people run as independent and it's, it's, it's just like I said, it's a very hard state to pinpoint. But you have a lot of independents there who are not registered Democrat or Republican, but vote in the Democratic primary. So um, if they wanna register, say if you're new to the party and you wanna register that day and vote for a candidate, you can do that as long as you have a New Hampshire ID card. That gives a huge advantage to the outsiders who are essentially bringing new people into the process. And these new people know, at least they should know, that they can register the same day to vote. They do not do, at least according to Ballotopia, they do not do provisional ballots. This is a, a, a big, big positive for any outsider or anti-establishment candidates. Because as we know, for some weird reason, every single provisional ballot ever done always goes to the establishment. Don't ask me why, but you know why, right? Rigged, okay. Um, 
but they don't do provisional ballots. They do do absentee ballots in very, very specific situations, though. Uh, if you have a physical disability, which I believe is understandable, um, if you are military and deployed or in a different state, which they don't have that many of, if you are, uh, or if you are out of state for an, uh, employment, that is also a permitted reason. And so there aren't that many reasons you can do it. You can't let you be like, oh, I'm out of the state, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm in school, so I'm gonna do an absentee ballot. You can't do that. You actually, to, to, it's my understanding according to Balotopia that you actually have to go and be in New Hampshire to vote in New Hampshire. Uh, they, um, and they don't, like I said, they don't have a huge population of military and, and, and things like that, that where a bunch of people are out of the state that it could di diametrically affect like the results. Like it's not gonna change, you know, somebody's chances of winning by four or 5%, uh, like it could in like a California, for example. So that's a good thing. They use paper ballots and they're hand marked. That's a good thing too. Um, they also, they allow felons to vote. They allow felons to vote. That is not, if you've served your time, if you serve your time, they allow felons to vote. That is not a good thing for, <laughs> for Joe Biden. Am I right? Um, it, so last year, Bernie won New Hampshire pretty handedly. Everything went smoothly. There didn't seem to be a lot of complaints. Uh, but I don't, but they also, in my opinion, the Democratic elite did not expect for Bernie to be a threat to Hillary. So whatever, if he, he wins New Hampshire, it probably won't matter. Uh, but it is going to be a problem this year. You got Tulsi who's doing well there. Uh, I think Yane's going to do better than expected too. And because, like I said, when you have states where you can register the same day, outsiders, I mean, this is, by the way, this is, that is based off of what I've seen from Bernie in 2016. States where people can register the same day and not get a provisional ballot, but get an actual ballot, um, they always, the outsiders tend to do well in those states from what I've seen. So there is an advantage there. Now I gotta go to the bad part, okay? <laughs> this is why we always have to be vigilant. So yeah, they do hand counted paper ballots, but they also run those ballots through a machine. That machine is called AccuVote, and it is a machine that was created by Diebold. That machine is very, very old. And in February 2019, they were supposedly supposed to get rid of it in New Hampshire, uh, mostly because it doesn't even get made anymore. But they, according to this article, where is it at? the union leader, according to the union leader, they are, they did not get rid of it yet. They're still going to be running them through Accu, AccuVote. Now, unfortunately, I went to a website that did a security analysis of AccuVote. These were the, these were the findings of their analysis, just a, a few of them. It has malicious software running on a single voting machine that can steal votes with little risk of detection. The malicious software can modify all of the records, audit logs, and counters kept by the voting machine so that even careful forensic exa examination of these records will find nothing amiss. We have constructed, um, we have constructed demonstration software that carries out vo a vote stealing attack. Anyone who has physical access to a voting machine or to a memory card that will later be inserted into a voting machine can install said malicious software using a simple method that takes as little as one minute. In practice, poll workers and, uh, and others often have unsupervised access to machines. AccuVote. Uh, AccuVote machines are susceptible to voting machine viruses, computer viruses that can spread malicious software automatically and invisibly from machine to machine during normal pre and post election activity. We have constructed demonstration viruses that spread in this way, inst installing our, our demonstration vote stealing program on every machine it affects. 
Our demonstration viruses spread via the memory card and the, that poll workers use to transfer ballots and election results. So it propagates even if the voting machines are not even networked. So that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's not a, that's not a good look. I'm not going to lie to you, people. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it, you know, it, it's the facts. Now, here is what New Hampshire does to try and counter said issue. Um, so like I said, voters fill out paper ballots. And if this was claiming the AccuVote machines used by most towns, not all towns, but most towns to count ballots can't be hacked because they aren't online. See, that's not true. I just didn't I just read this. See, that's that's the lot that they'll put out there. They just said in this article trying to reassure us that nothing will go amiss. That AccuVote machines can't be hacked because they can't be done online. It just said. It absolutely can be hacked. It absolutely can be hacked. Now, luckily for us, they're not done. They're not using every single county in New Hampshire. So that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Also, to my, it's my understanding that the Republicans and the Democrats do their primaries at the same time, which also makes it a little bit more difficult because I'm not quite sure that they separate the ballots as they're counting them. I'm not sure. I'll have to get that information from a pollster when we get to uh, New Hampshire. Um, they did talk about an observation thing though. Like they, so they said, uh, hold on, where'd it go? Okay, so it says most of the paper, most of the towns count paper ballots. They they hand count them. That's great. Um, and it says as required by the Constitution, the moderator reads the results out loud at each polling station, while clerks record those results by hand. So my assumption is that even though they have an AccuVote machine that counts, um they still have to read those results out loud even after the results are counted, right? Hopefully, I don't know that for a fact, but not every county uses the AccuVote machine. Um, so that's good. So is this one of the more secure sites? I would rate this a B minus. There shouldn't be any AccuVote machines, but a B minus is really high for me <laughs> because Generally, there's only one state that gets an A for me, and that's Washington State for a plethora of reasons. B minus is high for me. Having same day voter registration without having to do a provision of ballot is huge. Open, open primaries allows the Democrats to be scrutinized by the Republicans if there is some funny business afoot. Uh, and also, that means at the polling station, there will be Republicans and Democrats in the building. Uh, and re De Democrats are not going to give the Republicans a reason to get froggy. So, Nico, given the state of our elections, I think it's best for us to just declare yourself interim president and get Russia's support. <laughs> right? I know. I, I mean, Juan Guaido is still being called the president, even though that boy can't even go back to his own country at this point. He got to have our Congress clock for him because his legislature won't even let him in. <laughs> That's hilarious. But um but I would give it like I said, I would give it roughly a B minus. I would give it a B minus and because you got the open primaries, you can vote Democrat or Republican in those primaries. You even though they do have voting machines that are used in some counties, most counties hand count, and then those results, after they're hand counted, are read out loud and recorded by the clerks in these places um, and you don't have to register as a Democrat or a Republican you can simply register as an independent if you choose to so if all I'm, I'm gonna get once again I'm gonna get details from pollsters 
when I get to New Hampshire so I can figure out, you know, okay, are y'all going to pull, do y'all pull these, you know, these um, results and do you, you separate the independents who vote in the Democratic primary and separate the independents who vote in the Republican primary or do you just pull everything and just read the results out loud based off of what you got? Like just read the results out loud for everybody, right? If Bernie got this many votes and then Trump got this many votes and like that's what I would hope they did. That would be the best way to do it. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly. Um, I, it did go smoothly in 2016. It did go smoothly in 20. But let's be clear about something. I don't really know if that's applicable in 2020, right? We can be optimistic. We can trust but verify. <laughs> And we will be keeping our eye on things. So when we get there, we go to when we get, we're going to be out bright and early, and we're going to go out there and uh, like just basically learn the process, uh, figure out what it's supposed to look like. We're going to inform people of what they're supposed to, you know, how things are supposed to go, so that if it does not go that way, then they can inform us. We can inform campaign people from various campaigns, and hopefully, it can be dealt with. I hope that answered your question, the anonymous person who submitted that question. Uh, if you have a Q Bounty question, you can go to qbounty.com and you can get a video about your Q Bounty question. Sound good? All right. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, always remember more than anything else. Find your balance. Peace. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you like that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. Of course, if YouTube is giving you trouble, as it always does, you can download the Rockfin app and follow us there. Also, if you want to continue to help our show grow, you can help us reach our goal of 500 patrons on Patreon and donate as little as a dollar. Really, anything helps. Other than that, always remember people more than anything else.